Hi guys, we've been learning about who God is as we look at creation. Let's review what we've already seen in creation and learned about God. God is light. Seeing that the sun, moon, and stars that he created remind us that he is light. Next, we learned God is almighty and strong. Seeing the mountains and oceans remind us that he is strong and mighty. Next, we learned God is wonderful, and seeing all the many plants he created reminds us that he's wonderful to us. Next, we learned God is our comfort, and looking at our pets reminds us that God has created them for our comfort. Last, we learned God can do anything. Birds and fish are parts of creation that remind us that God can do anything. He helps birds fly, helps fish swim, and live underwater. God created pets, birds, and fish, and God created other animals too. We're going to call these animals wild animals. When we have pets, we're the ones that take care of them. We give them food and water. We give them shelter or a place to sleep. We give them everything they need to survive. But what about animals in the wild? God provides for them. Did you know that when God created foxes, he also gave them the ability to make dens to live and hide in? Or did you know that when God created lions, he also gave them the ability to hunt and find food? Did you know that when God created camels, he also gave them the ability to go without water for long periods of time because they'd be in the desert? He even gave wild animals ways to protect themselves. God took care of the needs of all the wild animals he created. God provides. But God didn't just do that for animals. Psalm 103 says, Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. God loves us even more, and he cares for and provides for us too. The most important way that God provides for us is to provide a rescue for us. Remember, we're far from God because of our sin, and we are sentenced to punishment, to death. But God cares for us so much that he sent his son to die and take our place. God rescued us and God provides. Let's pray and thank God for providing for us every day and especially for his rescue for us. Dear God, thank you for making ways to provide for all of our needs from um, thirst and hunger to shelter and love with our families. God, thank you for taking care of us, but thank you also for loving us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die in our place, to take our punishment so that we could be with you forever. Thank you, God, for your provision for us. Amen. This week, if you go to a zoo or watch a movie with wild animals in it, or even study them at school, let these amazing wild animals remind you that God provides, not just for them, but for you too. Bye.